it's fertility queen i um i actually have a little story to tell you guys about how i knew that i was going to be successful with um taking bovine ovarian supplements so um after uh pretty much contemplating like what my next move was going to be like what my next protocol was going to be um to get out of menopause to be more feminine looking you know to fit my damn bras my clothes um i had said a prayer i think this was like right around the time when i purchased uh the product from medplex i uh prayed to to christ literally i asked christ i i asked him i said if if this works if this works like I believe that it can, um, I will, as my thank you, as my giving back, I will let um, every everyone know that I can, and I will help um, any woman who asks me about, um, you know, how how to grow their breasts or how to, um, yeah, how to grow their breasts. Jeez, as a thank you, um, if this works. Uh, if not, you know, just guide me. I was asking to be guided, like, if this was really, you know, what I should be doing. Um, if not, please show me the way, you know? As, um, shallow and vain as I thought it was, I also thought that, um, you know, God put a lot of things on this planet. I mean, come on, like, if you think about how many of us are abominated, and I say that with the most utmost respect of God's creation, abominations are everywhere. Now everyone's going to use that like term, abominated. <laughs> but it's true. Like people are walking around in their uh, hashtag abominated. Um, whether it was in the womb, whether it was radiation around the planet when they were born, um, growing and changing and things have made them franken genetics. Uh, anything could be passed down, uh, genetic abomination. So, you know, my, uh, congenital abomination besides having, uh, I feel like a deviated septum or collapsed nostril. I can't breathe. I cannot breathe. There's something going on. I have some funky mask puppiness. Anyways, another fucking video. Abominations are everywhere. Some you can get rid of. Some you can alter. Some you just cannot change. So understanding that and understanding um, God's ideal for, for human beings. You know, a woman should be a woman. A man should be a man. Um, we should be able to grow and thrive and pass these genetics um, healthy genetics down to our offspring. And we live in a world today where it's not like that. You know, now people are becoming, you know, to the point where they, they can't even live. Like, neurologically, they cannot function. Anyway, so, okay. I just knew that it wasn't that shallow t of me to ask in that vein of me to ask because I was not getting my cycle. I was entering uh, menopause at 29. Everything was dead down south. Um, I, I just was going through so much uh, hormonal turmoil. Could not sleep. Um, and then when I could sleep, it was still messed up. So, okay. I said my prayer. I went all out. Put it to rest bought the stuff, and I decided, okay, let it brew, right? We're brewing it, getting this body ready, because we know my absorption is shitty. So when that point in time came for me to take my um, bovine ovarian tincture, yeah, so we're nine months later. I think it was that first week when I was actually like starting to take it, you know, I was dropping everything and like under my tongue and swishing it around my mouth with a little bit of like protein or water. I took a nap. I was just, I was tired. You know, I think I did like, I came off of a juice beast or some kind of cleanse, probably my last liver flush or something. I took a nap 
and I had this out of body. Okay, this is the ghost story. Um, and I may um, leave the link for my other channel uh, for all the other worldly subjects, subject matter, but let me just tell you, I had been out of my body, aware, and I think that I was thinking about all these um, thoughts about like, okay, taking this bovine ovarian, bo uh, bovine ovarian supplement, taking my protein, I don't know, is this going to work? I think it's going to work, right? So this male spirit comes to me and I'm seeing him face to face. I'm hearing everything clearly. He's a young male, white male. He looked to be about 15, 16, 17. And <laughs> very much alive, okay? Not dead. Very much alive. And he says, he says, you know what? He's like, you're going to grow. They're going to get big. <laughs> and I was just looking at him like, and he's like, yeah, you're going to grow. It's going to happen. He's like, but... And he points to like my forehead. He's like, you're gonna have to like, you're gonna have a little bit of acne, but it'll go away. It'll be fine. So that was the message. That was it. I woke up and I thought to myself, well, I don't know who this male entity was. Cause you know, I have spirit friends and loads of spirit enemies. But um, anyways, I didn't know who this, this young man was. He seemed pretty nice. He seemed pretty friendly. Um, he didn't abuse me in any way. Uh, but anyways, delivered the message. And I um, woke up and I thought to myself, I think this is going to work. Like, <laughs> I'm stoked. I'm not giving up. I'm going to do everything Anastasia said. You got to you gotta pump, 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 not give up, be consistent with your like intake of supplements like protein and whatever else you're taking. And, you know, just give it time and be patient. You're not like trying to win a fucking race. This is your body. This takes time. Remember, like puberty takes seven years, to even longer. Like I, w I was still having like some puberty moments like in my early 20s. So that's how I knew I was going to grow. I just had that strong feeling. And he was right. Three and a half months. And then they were growing. And yes, the acne did happen. I had a little bit of acne here and here. And this is actually a common thing. You're just, it's probably the, um, the hormones just getting, you know, passed around in your, through your liver, into your body, it comes out, detox, whatever you want to call it. It's just something temporary that's going to happen. So, um, that's my little, uh, ghost story or a uh, natural breast enhancement. <laughs> and, uh, I got plenty of other stories regarding just because of me doing this protocol, having a lot of spiritual entity interaction that was actually quite negative. Um, and I never spoke about it and I may start speaking about it in my other channel, but, um, yeah, so, all right, I guess that's it for now. <laughs>